Hi guys, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastic. Today, what we're going to do is repair this deteriorating concrete wall. Now, I guess in order to repair a concrete wall that's deteriorating, you've got to know a little bit about why concrete deteriorates. Well, there's a whole lot of reasons why concrete deteriorates. The carbon dioxide in the air can deteriorate concrete. Rebar too close to the surface can get wet because it's porous, corrode, and then help deteriorate concrete. Chloride in the water can deteriorate concrete. Usually we see this kind of action right here on foundations because people water it plants all the time, and chloride in the water gets in it, and it deteriorates it like this. This actually is a little bit more than the three I've mentioned. Of course, I'm not here to explain why concrete deteriorates. I'm just giving you an idea. If you want to really know why, Google it. They, they could answer it a hundred times better than I can. You have to, I looked at this right here, and I figured just from looking at it, it was about 110 years old. And I also can see by looking at it closely that the fellas about 30 years ago did stucco. They did just what we're going to do but some of it came off. So I, I advised the fellow who owned the place, pressure wash it with 3,000 PSI, which he did. They did a real nice job. Josh, Jason will show it to you soon. They did a great job, and they took off a lot of it. However, I came and I tapped it with a hammer, and there's still a lot that's got to come off. So the fellow owns it said, Kirk, I don't want to destroy the integrity of it and rebuild it. I just want to get the loose stuff. So I told him, that's all we want to do, too. We just want to get the loose stuff. So I'm going to tap off a little bit more of what we're going to do. And I'll show you how we repair it. Also, too, concrete is very similar to stucco. They're both made with Portland cement, aggregate, and water. In stucco, we add sand as the aggregate. In concrete, it's rocks. It could be quarter inch, half inch. Uh, that's, that's the only difference. So anyhow, what we're prepared to do today is pound off or knock off gently any of the loose stuff. And then we're going to pressure wash the loose stuff because I have to get all this out. Otherwise, our new work won't adhere. So we're going to pound off some of the loose stuff. We're going to pressure wash that to remove all this. Then we're going to hit it with weldcrete. I'm probably going to come back tomorrow and do the actual um, cement fix to this. And I'll freehand everything. We're going to beat up some of these corners. We're going to try to salvage everything that we can. So we're going to get set up, guys. And we're working pretty high up on it wall here so I'll have a harness with my scared self because uh, looking down there is a big drop. Anyhow when we get to that stage we'll show it to you. We're going to get to the fun stage now to try to remove the loose stuff and here's where it takes a little bit of practice. In order to get the loose stuff you, you go by sound basically. Now I don't know if you can hear this but we have, of course we have hard this right here, I can hear a hollow sound. That's loose. This is iffy. That's solid. So if it's loose like this, the best thing to do is take the cloth and just, just pull it out a little bit. And this does take a lot of practice because, well, it says again, I don't want to remove the whole thing, and we don't either, but we have to remove the loose stuff. The fellas who did the last work, I give them uh, 30 years at last, so we want to do it as well, or if not better like areas like this. Solid, 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 solid. I can see a buckle here. You hear that? That's loose. So we're going to remove that. And that's how we determine this area inside here. Solid. Loose. You can hear the difference. Well, hopefully you folks will be able to hear the difference. So anyway, after we remove all this, then I'm going to pressure wash just once more. They did a great job with 3,000 PSI, but I want to hit all, get all this loose stuff off, then we apply the bonding agent, which I'm going to double up the bonding agent. Then we're going to put it back together. All right, guys, we got that nasty work done of all the breakout. This one color was the absolute worst. What I was talking about earlier with aggregate, like a dinosaur egg, these rocks that are in this concrete. And right here, I was pointing out that rebar close to the surface will corrode and deteriorate it. This is right on the surface. We had a few other things here right on the surface, but none that we can't handle. Anyhow, uh, Jason, Madeline, and me are gonna clean up this mess. 
Then we are going to pressure wash it to get all the dust off of this. And fortunately, from on top of this roof here, we can just relax and reach over. That's how I was able to get that. I'm not on the ladder, I'm just reaching down comfortably. Okay guys, now, I don't necessarily have to do this, but I'm going to spray it on. I'm going to do this little strand. I don't know if it's a couple times. That way we get it good. So here, fun part. We've got super rich mud, plus we have accelerators in it. Now this stuff is set and fast, so I'm six inches in some spots. And I am going to complete this in a day. So I can take it, throw it in there, just like that. I'll be doing the whole, all the heavy six inches patches just like this because I want it to set immediately. That way I can keep moving. We're gonna get us the hot sun, so we're hustling now. We're actually building so how the heck are you getting those corners stuck? I'll tell you how I get them. I generally put some on here, I put some on here. And this is really hot mud, so I gotta get rid of it in five minutes. So I'm gonna put some bulk here. Put some bulk. A little bit out of time guys, a little bit. Take it and I'll show you how I get my corner. Okay. I'll take it here. Go this way. Here, goes this way. We're working in the hot sun too, so it makes a difference as far as when it sets. Alright, I take the Darby. Now me, I've been doing a lot of which ways. I've been doing this forever. I'll put it about right here. Squeeze it down, line these corners up. And I'll take this guy here and pull it straight up. Just like that. Anybody order a pizza? Yeah. Give that guy a tip. We're gonna take lunch and afterwards we'll come back and show you the completion of this. All right guys, now that I got this one portion here, so sponge float everything, a lot of water, a lot of water. That'll give me the stucco finish that they originally had. Anyhow, I uh, hope you learned something about deteriorating concrete and how to repair it. My name is Kirk. I am with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Thank you for watching, and as usual, guys, we'll see you on the next one.